Five. Yo, what is up, guys? It's me. Today, we're going to be doing another Let's Talk, this time about the prize car that was rewarded around three and a half hours ago, something like that. Uh, it was... Let's open the game. Oh, well, that... <laughs> wrong one. Alright, we do actually have a Cadillac ceramic to claim, so let's turn up the in-game volume and claim it. Nice fuse material. I don't know, legendary? No, just the ELR. Which is not going back to standard tires anytime soon, which sucks. So let's go in and let's review the Radical. Last I checked, it was RQ99. Here it is. The Radical RXC 600R. 2.7, 9800 top speed, rear wheel drive slick, RQ99. You might think, okay, that's good. Has great stats. But then you take a look at the Radical right next to it. 2.4, 180 top speed. Well, first thing's like, oh, okay. Maybe the SR10 is heavier. 1100 kilos, 700 kilos. So here's the first discrepancy. And then look for the same RQ, RT24, which weighs less, has a higher top speed, handles better. You have the Pagani right here, way higher top speed, late weighs less. And then you, all right, and then here, extra night, you've got a higher top speed, same zero to 60. Too less handling, it's lighter. So he's like, okay, Radical shouldn't be RQ99. Let's move it down to RQ98. You have the G57P2, 2.899, 930 kilos. And then let's keep going. The 787P, 2.896, 830 kilos. Club Sport, which is a non prize car, 2.698, 211. 1390 kilos. Okay, it's a little bit heavier, but it has better, but it has better handling, better zero to sixty, higher top speed. So the radical is a bit. Oh, and then another example: the back mono, which is RQ97, lower top speed, better zero to sixty, same handling, weighs less than half of what the radical does. The radical should not be RQ99. It should be RQ88. Uh, RQ98. Although it does have 106 MRI, so keep that in mind. Just gotta double check something. Okay. It does have 106 MRI, and we'll look at some comparisons in a bit. So, um, obviously, as you can see, I did not win it. I, in fact, ended up in tier. I got screwed over because I was high and dry and like 40th. I was set to get the alpha, and I would add it to my fuse pal. Then I got hit three times in the last 15 seconds, and I got dropped down to 100. So I got the Z3, a Duke Mazda 2, and the Challenger, which was the tier reward. So I'm pretty pissed, to be honest. Uh, my hand was god awful. Uh, that's the wrong requirement. Uh, medium, decades and years, 2020s. Yeah, the one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I had a garbage hand. I had a garbage hand, but that's a carbon fiber hand, and the fact that I managed to get hit five. I had such a sweaty bracket for that final. You will not understand. I had such a sweater, but there were people there were people running upgraded legendaries in the ceramic tier. Upgraded legendaries in the ceramic tier, and they had like epics and ultras. Which sucks because I thought I had a decent hand coming into the final and to have it have that hope kind of like dashed. It's really annoying. So I'm not exactly happy that I got screwed over, but then again, I probably deserved it somehow. So Wahoo! All I got was another Fuse Ultra, which I'm not very happy with. Not very happy with. There's another few super I can use. Um, any packs in the store? No, nope, just a bunch of... Yeah. The Devo... The Devo's out as well. Uh, the packs were released. Tri-Series Qualifiers. Muscle Car. Which, I don't even know what I'm going to be running for this. I still need entities daily. I suck in this one.
damn. Oh, why did my mouse stop working? There we go. Converting the estate front wheel drive. What are the track sets? Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh, I can make some damage with that. Just want to double check. Make sure I'm getting these right. So I'm going to run this if I can get it in my damn hand. Ooh, what am I going to run it? Run as a third. Also, if I put Regal, maybe. If I had it upgraded, I don't have anything else. Eh, that's fine. The qualifiers for the Devo, which will be in another Let's Talk video. Muscle car. Fucking trip double dirt, and really the only thing you can use for the dirt is the, the two four-wheel drive perfs that are available. Which I don't love. I mean, filter all cars. No all-surface, not for There's four four-wheel drive. Like, the, you, if you do not have those two, you are screwed. You are done. Like, it would be awful to have two of the HSVs, but since I don't have... I mean, standard. Standard tire muscle cars. Like... Oh, it's just gonna suck. It's gonna suck, 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 suck. I am not ready for that. Anyways, back to the radical. I'm gonna convert OBS real quick. And we're going to go ahead. I'm gonna shut off OBS. And we're going to move to records. So I'm just gonna do a game capture, or a display capture. First off, before we actually do move to uh, the comparisons, I just want to congratulate some people who actually did end up winning the prize car. So congrats. Congratulations to Mike Elander. Congratulations to... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, also, shout out to Salber. Congratulations on finishing your non-prize alpha collection. That's huge. We're waiting for that to get maxed out. Um... Who else won? Congratulations to uh, Top Drive Skier. Congratulations to Elderberry. Congratulations to Ansami. Uh, congratulations to Mr. Rifle. Uh, Annie. I need to double check to see if they won it. Uh, in the Lodge, I want to give shout out to Lotus. Congratulations on the serve too. Um, Mr. Yeah, there's Elderberry. There's Ansami. Eric, congratulations on the roof. JK, congratulations. I know you were really close to winning the prize car. You were like top 15. So that's kind of cool. You still got a legendary out of it. Uh, moving on. In the uh, top drives pit, I don't know why I'm not full screening this. Uh,. Congratulations to Mike on top drives. Congratulations to Nicholas. Congratulations to Father on your Corvette. Uh, that's the wrong fucking thing. Uh, congratulations to Nigel. Congratulations to Duck. Congratulations to Bulldog. Congratulations to Lambie. And I think that's it. I don't think anybody... Yeah. Those are people that I know that won the prize car. So congratulations to all of you. Uh, enjoy the win. Congratulations. And now let's actually hop on to uh, records so that we can get this song. So we're going to start Twisty Track Sets against UK. Legendary, rear wheel drive, performance slick, high RQ. So we're going to go 95 to 99. Holy crap. 95. Uh, eh. Ooh, crap. I want to go. Jeez, there's a lot. RQ 95 to uh, 99. How's that? That's a lot. Oh, UK, UK. I forgot to sort by UK. So let's start with all of. I don't know why I added the Bentley, because it's supposed to be like twisty only. I will remove the Bentley now. 
so Room 1 1, I mean, it wins fast circuit rolling, but the Jag doesn't have the time put in. Add the P52. Let's, let's, let's just, let's just, let's just, um, let's just trash all these real quick. Just get rid of them. So let's start. Oh, I, I don't know why I deleted them. I wanted to move them to the end. So. All right, let's start with the RQ95. Let's just, um, okay. That was colossal fuck up. Delete cars. Let's just go twisty. And go with that. We're gonna go start with the radical, and then we'll work our way up in RQ. So let's start. SRA RSX. The radical loses slalom test because it weighs so damn. Because it weighs a lot compared to a normal radical. Super lightweight. Add the sun up. It's going to start losing some of the fast tracks like Twisty Circuit Rolling, Tokyo Off-Ramp, which doesn't have a time for. Add the Aerial, you're going to lose Slalom, Hairpin, Street Slalom, and Mountain Hairpin. Hairpin. Ultima, you're going to lose everything fast because the Ultima is like, this is a drag spec car. You should drag spec this, to be honest. That's a British dragster. Uh, I don't know why I went to here. 111. 111SR10. It's going to, like, it's losing to a card that is 3 RQ lower. It's still, take, it's, it's still the best right now in card park, carding, twisty circuit, twisty road, Tokyo loop, and overpass. That's it. P1 GTR. Still the king in car park, G-Force. It's still the king in those. It is still the king in those. Levante, nothing. The BAC Mono. Wipes everything off of the board except for Twisty Circuit, Tokyo Loop, and Tokyo Overpass. Add the P57, doesn't change anything. Add the XJR9, doesn't change anything. Add the G58, and all that's left for the Radical is Tokyo Loop. As far as the times are, because apparently nobody put, nobody really wanted to put times in. And then when it comes to the drags, I mean the Ultima, I think, is just going to win all of them, right? Ultima King. Yeah, the ultimate is the king. Except for some reason, the the uh, 50 to 150 and the 75 to... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Like, the radical does nothing. It has 103 MRA at one star. That's not going to do anything. I don't see... I mean, I can realistically put in time for this right now. 191... 2.3109, I think. Yeah, we'll look at that. We'll. It, I'm pretty sure it's that. It goes two, three, three. Okay, I, I can't compare. It depends, to be honest. Okay, we'll figure that out. But basically, it in in its in its UK niche, it sucks. So let's add the radical. And let's do um, clear all. Let's let's just go ninety. Let's just go. It's RQ neighborhood of ninety eight and ninety nine. Let's add the one hundred. Let's just let's just add all the non prize. So U U U. And let's decrease to RQ ninety six. Uh, what twisty stuff? Pagani. Radical. RQ95, and I think that's the limit. Still yet, yeah, just this radical. Against non-prize cars, I'm pretty sure it's like... I don't know, wow, it takes losses from a non-prize Hyundai. I mean, in terms of non-prize, it's gonna it take car park, hairpin, fast circuit rolling, and canyon tour. But that's because this it doesn't have a time. For Canyon Tour. I think the Genesis would win Canyon Tour. And the drag sense, the Hyundai is still better. Like, this this Radical is nothing but a trophy car. Keep it stock. Keep it stock unless you have nothing. If you have nothing, keep it stock. It is not that good. Please. It is not worth your time to one star because it will lose to non-prized cars 
and prize cars. Like, let's just let general like clear the cars. Clear the cars. Let's we'll go twisty and drag comparison. Like, real drive, real drive, slick, RQ 95. Let's go to 96, 99. Just, just add all. Of them. Well, actually, let's not go too overboard because like some of these cars are overpowered. Like, let's go 100 maximum, 96 to 100. Like, it's just gonna lose to Pro Car, R10, Sauber, and the Pug. I mean, we can add them for comparison's sake. That hasn't been released. Like, just add all of them, straight up all of them that have been released. Add them. All of them, including the non like. There you go, Daft. You get your fucking 962 appreciation. One, 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 all of them. Apparently, there's a bogus car park time, which honestly I believe. All thumbs down it for now. Like add all these. Like this. Like straight up. Like let's just on. Let's just on one, one, one all. And we'll leave the pro car in for now. Like we'll do, we'll do pro car only. Why fucking one two fucking off? There we go. Pro car only. Add the radical. It's just gonna get swept by the pro car. Swept by the Audi. Swept by the Sauber. Swept by the 905B. Swept by the G. Like this nothing. There is nothing left for this. It should not be RQ99. There is nothing left of it. Like, just add all these. See if any of them make a dent. Like, shout out to the Revolution for being this third best in the test pool. Like, there is nothing left for this thing. No room. So, one, that's a one, two, one time. There is nothing. It is. It's garbage. It should go down in RQ. Anyways, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, congratulations if you did actually win the prize car. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.